Hi guys, Nova Fox here and welcome back to another episode of Niche. I'm sorry about the long wait between episodes, um, but hopefully I should have a lot of episodes recorded soon. So in this episode I want to focus on moving the pack around a little bit more and I also want to start bringing in the jungle jeans that we'll need. Um, I think the tiles are here, yeah, for the jungle island. So I'm actually going to start moving these guys off towards these three trees over here. And what I did want to do was breed some of these guys together. And I did want to breed Rogue here before he dies. Um, I'm thinking of breeding him with Renana, as one of you suggested. And maybe with Isir. So if we breed him with her today, she should be able to give birth. And then where is Isir? Okay, Isir is up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Anastra out of the nest up here. And I'm going to move Knight. Where should I move him? I do want to breed him with uh, Ramesi, wherever she is. So I'm going to move Knight up in this direction so he can help his pack clear away towards this tree so he can go and sit here and then Anamim can help by clearing out some of this grass. Now I'm going to put Renana into this nest now and then hopefully Rokir can make his way there on this turn. Yes he can and then he can breed with her and she can pick these berries. For this baby, I definitely want to put in the running leg and the nimble fingers uh, just to try and get rid of this snow paw. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I'm going to put in the running leg and actually I'm going to put in the poison fangs and just see if we can pull that out because I believe it's in both of their recessives. And now these little siblings down here, I do want to start moving them up with the rest of the pack because they're not doing much down here and I definitely want to breed them to keep the nimble fingers in our lines. So on the next turn, I will start moving them off in this direction. Now I was bringing Knight and Taroduke up in this direction. I'm gonna get them to just clear out the grass around this tree first, but ideally we want to start heading in the other direction. So let's see what the last baby of Renana is gonna look like. Okay, so he didn't get the no paw, but he did get the um, cracker jaw, which is good. It does look like he inherited hemophilia. I think he got that from his mum. But luckily, his immunity genes are fine. So I think that was a success. And now I actually want to breed Rokir and Isir. Just so that we can try and get the F and the D gene on some of our babies. So let's see. We have enough nesting material. So I think what I can do is bring her down here next to him and then she can breed with him and place a nest down there and he can just pick these berries. Now for their baby, I definitely want to put that running leg in because there is a risk of the double no paw. So we've got the running leg in the 30% and what else should we put in there? I may just leave the poison fangs in there and just see if we can pull those out. Um, I am hoping that this baby will not have double no paws and two of the same immunity genes like Isaiah has. So fingers crossed for that. But for now, let's sort these guys up here out. Let's get you to start moving off in this direction and clearing this grass out. And then night, you can pick up these berries. And these guys are going to continue their journey off into the grass towards this tree. Now what I'm going to do is have a look and see if we can see anything off in this grass. So it doesn't look like we can smell or hear anything up here, which is good because eventually I do want to clear out this entire area and then just focus on getting the correct genes and then move off to the jungle because this is a huge island and I don't think we're going to get around to exploring all of it. So Anastra, I'm going to start moving you in this direction as well. And then Ramim can pick her berries and move up here. I think I'm gonna get Anasra to do the same thing. Do they have the same name? Okay, this is Anasir and this is Anasra, right? <laughs> and I think that's it for this turn. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's keep our fingers crossed for this baby. Okay, so it does look like we got the double no pause, which is a shame, but she has been born with that um, melanism, which is interesting. And I did want to start breeding Knight with Ramesi down here. So where is he? Up here. I think 
if we bring Macy up in this direction, she can pick some berries on her way and hopefully she'll, yeah, she can get to this nest and then Knight can come down here and breed with her. And for their babies, I was thinking, what do we do? So both of their genetics are actually perfect. I think what I'm going to do is try putting the warning dots in here. Where are they? The warning dots. And also, I'm also going to put in the digging port because that is quite useful. So everyone is slowly making their way over to this side. I'm going to leave a few of them behind um, just so that they're near all of these resources. But I do want to start moving these guys over to and we should probably breed Isir on the next turn. How long does Raiki have? Yeah, I'm going to wait until the next turn so it doesn't interfere with Knight's baby. But I will definitely be breeding them again. And we've just got Tarudu down here who is going to be passing away in a couple of turns. So he can actually grab this mole for us. And it looks like that's it. So let's check out this baby. Okay, so it doesn't look like she got the warning dots, um, but she has got the nimble fingers and the claw. So let's bring Roki down here to breed with his mate again. And let me set up the mutation menu for these guys again. So we definitely want that running leg in there. Where is it? There. The running leg and the poison fangs again. Now, Remacy, while you're waiting for your child to grow up and move out the nest, you can just help with clearing out some of this grass. An enemy, you can clear out some as well, and then move up here to this tree. And this is Anastra's last turn, so I think what I would do is put her as far out in the grass as she can go, up to here, and she's found a berry bush for us. Van Vanku can just clear out the grass behind her, like the path that she's left. And the same with Ramim, who can come over here and find us another permanent nest, which is great. Oh, and I nearly forgot about Cisco down here. She's gonna pick these berries and then come over here and she can pick these berries on the next turn. And I think that's all we can do. We do have Issy here, but she is having a baby. So let's skip the turn and hope that this one is a little bit more lucky than her previous child. So we got another melanistic baby. Uh, let's move Van Duke out of the way a little bit. Oh, and this guy did get two running legs and the big body and the poison fangs. Okay, that's amazing. Move on. Wow, look at this line of just melanistic creatures. Okay, so this is a very, very lucky baby. So I'm going to go ahead and name these guys. I'm going to name this girl Luna. And I'm going to name this guy Eclipse. I think they're quite fitting names for two siblings. So it looks like that mole next to Shadow did go back away, but he should come up again soon. So let's have Shadow pick these berries for now. And we'll get these guys to start clearing out even more of the area. Now I have noticed... Oh, and we've got another nest. Yeah, I have noticed that a lot of these creatures are getting quite old. But there's not so much breeding that I can actually do with them, as they all have this immunity gene B. So unfortunately, some of these guys are going to have to pass away without having any children. But at least we do have all of these babies born around here. Let's move Maracy off the nest and her mother can come back in. And then Knight can come over here, pick up the meat and then breed with her. Now for their baby, I was putting in the digging paw and the warning dots. So let's see if we can pull that out. I think that's it for this turn. So let's have another look at Knight and Ramesi's baby. Is that another melanism? Oh, and I do hear a carnivore. Okay, so we'll deal with that in a moment, but hang on a second. Yeah, we have another melanistic baby. Uh, Mimana, I think that is. Wow, I can't believe the amount of melanistic creatures we're getting. And she did get the digging paw, which is great. So that's three melanistic babies we've had on the last three turns. That's amazing. So right now, let's deal with this carnivore. We don't have that many strong creatures, unfortunately because I am working on going to the jungle, so attack is not necessarily the best way to do that. But at least these guys over here can make a stand for themselves. So Van Vanku can hit him and then get out of the way. And then we have Ramim here who has the spiky body, so she should be able to hurt him when he goes to hit her. 
But if we bring in Anaisra, who has just grown up, she may be able to take him down. No, it doesn't look like it. So who else can we bring in there? Maybe Knight will be a good idea. Okay, it doesn't look like he can actually get there. Yes, he can. Here we go. Okay, and he did manage to kill him, which is great. So these guys are a really good team over there. Now everyone else can just pick their berries. And Shadow can make his way over here and pick these berries. And we'll move Eclipse out of the nest. And I wonder if it's a good idea to breed Isir one last time with Rokic, because they are both passing away soon. Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, if I bring her here brood with him and then she can come straight back into the nest and this will unfortunately be their last baby and no one else is giving birth on this turn so yet again i can put in the poison fangs and the running leg we can keep our fingers crossed again that it is as lucky as her last child for now van duke you can come up here and start clearing away some of this grass and who else have we got these guys over here so kukir can pick all his berries and Maresi can start making her way to the other trees. And Anamim, you can clear out this nest for us. And on your last few turns, you can actually move up this direction and see if there's anything out in this area. Actually, Ramesi can come out of the nest and pick these berries for us. And let's see what the final baby from Isir and Rokir is going to look like. Wow, okay, I was not expecting to see that kind of body colour from her. And unfortunately, she did get one of the no paws, but she does have the running leg, Isray. So what I'm actually going to call her is Nova, just because of the contrast between her siblings, as she is so bright compared to them. So now Isir can spend her last couple of turns picking up these berries. That is her last turn, actually. I don't think it's worth getting her to feed from this healing plant just because she is sick for her whole life because of these double immunity gene Bs. So I'd rather save this for somebody who's hurt from a carnivore or something else. Now Cisco, you can pounce on this bunny and grab it. And she can actually dig the ground here as well. Van Duke, you can continue clearing out this area. I'm going to move uh, Mimana off of the nest. I think maybe we could get another baby from Ramesi and Knight, as they do have perfect genes. So if I move Knight up in this direction, he can pick up this meat and just clear it out a little bit. And then Ramesi should be able to make it down there and breed with him. And now these guys have even more room to start clearing out the area. And I'm just going to make sure I've set up the mutation menu right. So I'm going to try one more time for the warning dots. And also, I think maybe I'll put in Toxic Body, actually, because that could be quite helpful in the jungle. So we'll see what happens there. And now, Anamim, on your last turn, if you just clear out this grass over here. I think she is the last creature who has those amazing white horns that were on the starter island. Um, Isir is passing away on this turn as well, and she is the only other creature who has the white horns, so that is actually quite upsetting. I'm really going to miss those. But every single creature on this island has some form of horns, so hopefully we'll be able to bring the white horns back at some point. Now we just have these little fox like creatures down here Kukir, who can move off in this direction and clear out some grass, and then Maresi, who can help him. And now, where are we? Let's have a look at Knight's family growing once again. Okay, wow. So we, okay, we got both of the warning dots and the toxic body. That is amazing. She looks so cool, right? Let's have a look at her um, adult picture. Who is it? Uh, Cosilla? Wow. She looks so strange. Hey, this is really cool. We got so lucky with this girl. And she also got the nimble fingers and the digging paw. <laughs> this girl is amazing. So it was definitely, definitely a good idea to breed Ramesi and Knight another time. And I think we'll even do it again. And hopefully we can get a line of all these toxic body warning dotted creatures. Because that would be absolutely amazing. And I really need to think of a good name for this girl. I think I'm going to call her Venom. As that's quite fitting for her colours. And I love her eyes. I don't think I've ever seen those before. The um, toxic body eyes. 
They look like snake eyes. So that's such a cool feature. So let's get these guys to clear out this grass. I feel like Knight and Ramesi would be a little bit scared of their own daughter because she looks nothing like either of them apart from those horns. Let's get Ramesi to move out of the nest and Knight can start clearing out the grass around it. Now I'm going to start moving these creatures off in this direction. I'm going to keep spreading all these guys out further down. And hopefully we can also explore this little swamp land over here and see if there's anything interesting. Now little Nova has been left all on her own over here because everyone has started migrating off in this direction. So I think she's going to come out of the nest and sit between these two bushes. And then Cisco can come over here after she's picked up her meat and just keep a close eye on her to make sure that she's safe. And hopefully grab this bunny on the next turn before he takes our berries. And Shadow can pick his berries and start joining the rest of his family up here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the turn. And for this last turn, I want to make sure that everyone collects as much food as they can. And I also wanna start looking at a couple of new pairings between all of these creatures, um, because I think we've got a decent spread of immunity genes. So I definitely need to start thinking about who is going to start a new family. But for now, let's move Venom off of her nest so that her mother can have another child. She can actually pick up this acorn and clear out this grass first. And then breed with the knight. I'm going to leave the mutation menu exactly how it is. And fingers crossed we will get as lucky as last time. And now this is Ramim's last turn. So I'm wondering if there's anyone that she can breed with. So she has the immunity genes B and A. Unfortunately, Eclipse has B and F. Um, and what about Shadow? B and D. So we've got so many immunity gene Bs, apart from these babies who haven't grown up yet. Um, these are all females. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got anyone who can breed with her. Oh, actually, Von Duke has G and F, but is he going to be able to make it over to her in time? Maybe they could meet in the middle. We do have enough nesting material for her to place a nest. So if I move Von Duke as close to her as he can get, he may even be able to make it right to her. Yeah, he has those double running legs, so he's extremely fast. So she can breed with him and place down a nest. Now I am gonna leave the mutation menu the same because I want as much luck with Knight's next baby as we had last time. But that may even mean that we get another toxic body and warning dot baby from this pairing. So these two babies are gonna be very interesting. So these little guys down here can start clearing out even more of this grass. And Anasra can help. She can come and sit here actually and clear out a little bit of the path. It doesn't look like there's actually anything interesting off in this direction, but at least we are making our way towards these tiles and eventually all of this small area here between all the trees and the lake should all be cleared out and it will be a lot easier to move our creatures around. So let's get these melanistic guys to move up in this direction and start clearing out the grass up here. And Luna, you can come and sit next to this berry bush. She can't actually pick from it or pick up the acorns. But wow, they are completely surrounding Venom. I feel like Venom would feel very out of place amongst all of these melanistic creatures. But I'm sure that she and Eclipse would get along quite well. And they may even be a perfect breeding pair in the future because of their immunity genes and those poison fangs. So if we could get a poison fanged toxic body and warning dots creature, that would be like absolutely amazing let's have a look at these two newest babies and hopefully we get some more toxic bodies okay so let's look at this one first we didn't actually get the toxic body or the warning dots but his genetics are perfect and he does have the claw which is something that we're lacking so that is another addition to um the strange family of knight and ramesi and now let's have a look at this little girl over here he can come and sit here, and then he's right in between the berry bush and all the acorns. And let's have a quick look at this baby. So she didn't get any of the mutation menu genes either, but she does have a lovely shade of pink antlers. Uh, Lair, I think that is. And she does have the big body and the fishing tail. So that may be helpful for when we move off to this little stream up here, because I have noticed that there are some fish in there. But that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.